on a night that saw Seth Rollins run through Brock Lesnar. The final battle of Triple H and Batista and Kurt Angle's last match, the occasion belonged to Becky Lynch, who ended the night holding both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships high above her head triumphantly. A moment that truly will live forever. Now we jump ahead to WrestleMania 36, the only WrestleMania in history with zero attendance, a record, and the first to take place on both days of the weekend. It also featured one of the most bizarre matches in the event's existence, the Firefly Funhouse match between The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and John Cena. Cena won a hard-fought match against Wyatt at WrestleMania 30 in 2014, a heartbreaking result for Wyatt, who discovering his inner fiend and also capturing the Universal Championship. But he never forgot about the pain of that WrestleMania 30 loss. So when Cena showed up on SmackDown after some time away to announce that he would not be competing at WrestleMania 36, The Fiend took the opportunity to persuade him to reconsider. A simple point to the WrestleMania sign was all that was needed to signal the challenge, with Cena tipping his cap to accept it. Wyatt would lay out the conditions. John Cena would have to venture into the Firefly Funhouse if he wanted this match, where he, The Fiend, would be waiting. Not one to ever back down, Cena remained unfazed. Sure, he didn't know exactly what was going to happen, but he had to trust in himself and his skills. Skills that had delivered a victory over this man before. But he knew that this was not going to be easy, and that he was walking into the base of the enemy. And without the voices of the WWE Universe to cheer him on, Cena would have to face the mind games of the Fiend alone, and hope that he was strong enough to survive. But it's up to you to break Cena down and show him that in the Firefly Funhouse, there is no one as powerful as the Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Yowie wowie indeed. There's another world that exists beyond our realm of comprehension. A world where our darkest urges are no longer kept secret. A world where gods, monsters, angels, and demons are neighbors. <laughs> John, let's take a real deep look at who you really are. You're about to face your most dangerous opponent yet. Yourself! <laughs> Welcome to the Firefly Funhouse! <laughs>
I am issuing a challenge for anyone, anyone back there in that, that, that locker room to come down here and face Bray Wyatt! Brother, this is so good, man. I miss Bray so much, man. This is awesome. <laughs> I almost like, I almost kind of teared up a little bit when I saw Bray. Ah, uh, this is like, this is bittersweet. Cause this is cool. I'm not. This this has nothing to do with like. 2K. I just wish, I wish Bray was alive, man. I was a big Bray guy. What a genius. Saturday night's main event. That's why I was kind of letting that whole thing breathe. We should have done the Boneyard match. I hope we get to do the Boneyard match. That was Taker's last match, right? What's up, brothers? My tag team partner is such a physical specimen. <laughs> so good, man. <laughs> Muscles. Bray was in such good shape here, too. Johnny Lord, Johnny Lord. <laughs> Dude, I know they had so much fun. The cream rides to the top. Stupid man. This is so dumb, but in a good way. This is so dumb. This is so dumb, man. This is great. So good. Gonna keep that in here? It's such good shit. Now 
I'm the doctor of thugonomics. I just switch like that in mid-fight. <laughs> the audience will be excited. They just went from six to midnight. Oh, I get your little joke. I can only talk in rhyme, right? Fine. I still shine. You ain't taking away my limelight. <laughs> if all I got is rap, I use it to my advantage. Because I'm like Husky Harris. It's a weight that I can manage. Bray, I got a great idea for your puppet show. Put my junk in a glove. You can call him Mr. Suck It, bro. Yeah. A disappointment since they brought you to the dance. You a slut for opportunity. Blowing every chance. <sighs> chances? How dare you talk to me about chances, John Cena? I have had to earn everything I've ever been given in life, and still they're taken from me. You. You're the golden goose, John. Your chances, they're unlimited. You're untouchable. But you're not a hero, John. You're a bully. You're a horrible person. You take the weaknesses of others and you turn for fame, John. Congratulations. You're the man now, John. Poor, lonely. John Cena. This is your last chance, man. The floor is yours. I would have loved to see him do this match with like other people, like Randy or or Styles. You in the doctor's house trying to get up in my face? All you really get is these nuts up in your face. It's the lock. <laughs> this Bray attire is sick too with the ponytail. I'm sure community creations will be all over this one. Oh, counter. I hope you can use this arena. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, he's pumping him up! I missed completely. <laughs> I love that crossbody. Big elbow drop to the back. Off the ropes. Senton! Elbow. Bro, he's got on some good pants. <laughs> Surprise Cena with a rear heavy attack. Oh, what happened to his hat? Still do, Bray. Abigail spoke of this day my entire life. You were supposed to be a man of the people. Then why weren't you listening?
both know that's not enough to end it, Superman. But this is. Six years ago, you made the wrong choice, cowboy. Fix it. <laughs> Fix it, John. Oh my god. I love you too. I love you too. You want to know what I really want to do right now? No. You know what I really, really want to do right now? I want to introduce the coolest, coolest guy that ever walked the face of the wrestling earth. Give it up for John Cena! <laughs> Hey, CM Punk! <laughs> no, not, not the pig. Huskus, I think his name, or Husky? Huskus? Oh, they fixed the name. I saw. I saw before that. Um, what do you call it? <clears throat> um, that the name was like not correct. <laughs> it was like the. It was like Bray Wyatt the Fiend. I guess they fixed it before the game came out. Huh. Also, I remember. <laughs> I remember like a long time ago, like when Bray was getting like super hot like he was hot as soon as he hit the like the main roster like the Wyatt family was really getting over and like there were rumors that they were going to make Paige the sister Abigail I wonder why they didn't do that oh my god if that was like ever like gonna happen Dude, the music for this is sick. I love the music for this section. What the? <laughs> the mandible claw. Then we never seen Cena ever again. Woo! Look at all those Cenas you unlock. NWO, the O2. Uh, WrestleMania 30 Cena. Uh, Word Life Cena. Whatever Cena that is. And whatever Cena that is. We unlocked the Performance Center, WrestleMania 36. We unlocked literally every Bray Wyatt. And the Empty Arena. The Dark Arena. It looks like the Firefly Funhouse found a new friend in John Cena. He won't bother anyone anymore. That was fun, man. Ha, huh, rest in peace, Bray, man. You are missed.